welcome back to the channel and if you are new welcome welcome so for today's look we're going to be doing something fun bright and glamorous so if you would like to see how i came up with this look please stay tuned first i'm going in with the elf concealer in the shade deep caramel and i'm going to apply that all over my lid that will act as my base next i'll be blending everything out for that smooth set look Next, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild Banana Setting Powder and I'll be applying that all over my lid to set my base. Next, I'm going in with my Jayla Rose Magic Blend Eyeshadow Palette in this Fuchsia shade. This will act as my first transition shade and I will be applying that in between my creases and just a little bit under my brow and just blending everything out. Next, I'll be taking the Magic Collection Pro Palette and I'll be using this brown shade. This will act as my second transition shade and I'll be blending out any harshness to create a softer look. Next, I'll be taking my Almay Makeup Remover Pads and removing some of that pigment in order to cut my crease. And for my crease, I will be using this Elf Matte Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Now that I've set my crease, I'll be going in with the Mayo Stackable Pigment and I'll be taking this neon blue shade and that'll be acting as my third transition shade for my crease. Now I'll be going in with the neon green shade and that is going to be my fourth transition shade and I'll just blend these two together. You will see me alternating between the two in order to get my desired blend. So I'll be applying rhinestones and to do that I'll be using my Kiss Lash Glue and applying it above where I put my crease at. And next I'll be taking my Amazon rhinestone. To line my eyes I'm going in with the water activated Baruki water liner in this pink shade and I'll be applying that over my lid. I'll also be taking my e.l.f. liquid liner to line my eyes as well. To prime my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer and I'm going to apply that to my T-zone areas and when I do so, I will be blending everything out with the tips of my fingers. Next, I'm going in with the Nika K Concealer in the shade 12, and I'll be using this to apply all over my face to cover up any discoloration, dark spots, and then I'll be blending everything out.
Next, I'll be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Madden Poreless Foundation in the shade 368. I'll be applying that all over my face and taking my makeup brush and blending everything out for that smooth finish. Okay, so I like to experiment. So I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and also the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 57. And also the LA Girl Pro Concealer is in the shade Toffee. I'll be mixing those two just to see what color I get for a highlight. So for underneath my eye, I'm going in with this Dew Color Space Blue Palette. And I'll be applying this shade directly under my lid. I'll be going in with the Juvia's Place Culture Palette in this hot pink shade. And I will also apply that underneath my lid as that second transition color. And I'll be blending those two together. So yes, yes, I had to go in with some glitter. So I did apply some chunky blue glitter underneath my eye to make it pop a little bit more. And I'll be going in with the black opal shade stick in the shade Ebony. And I'll be applying that as my contour and blending everything out. Now to set my face, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder in the shade Deep and applying that to all those areas where I did tend to highlight. So I'll be going in with the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette in this reddish brown shade and I'll be applying that all over my face where I do want a little bit more of a warmer look. Now I'll be going in with the Nika K Very Berry Blush Palette in the red shade and I'll be applying that over the apples of my cheeks. Now I did take my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette and use this brown shade to contour my nose. Now I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette and I'll be taking that iridescent shade and adding it to all areas where I did want a little pop of pink. Going back in the Jaclyn Hill Palette, I'm taking this white shade and I'll be applying that to the inner corners of my eye. To line my lips, I'll be taking my Clinique Lip Liner in the shade Dark Brown.
For my lips, I'll be using the Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in the shade Sheet. I also went in with the Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the shade I'm Sheet. To set my face, I'm using my Milani Matte Setting Spray. I did go back in and change the color of my lips. So now I'm taking my matte lipstick in the shade Cherokee by Crayon Case. Alright ladies, so this is the completed look. If you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, see you later. Bye!